on a completely different level. Many times we are, many times we have heard feedback in regards to our work that never ever again someone saw something like this, even yeah. in Silicon Valley. Come around and help me through my darkest time. Trying to be the only one, gotta meet to the light. Now we see all the problems that I face. Distrust and hate feeling in my lane. Trying to fix all the pain chewing in my brain, but I can't stop with the things that I think all the time. I'm alone every day in my home with a thought in my heart. Gonna take it really hard. Am I really this far gone? That's not the most funniest story, but it has some funny elements mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. And uh, what's what's your vision for the future of your company? So right now, where do you stand? What 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 are the most challenging moments for you right now? Oh, that's easy. And the answer the answer the answer that you are going to receive, I believe, from everyone on that question is. As I got that same answer because I recently went, went on a meeting with the CEO of a company that's called Spadel, and he's a 50 year old true executive. And every single time when I'm able to communicate with him, I always try to pick his brain yeah. because this guy simply understands business. I mean, when you are in the business for 30 years and you have 20 years of executive, executive experience, that's kind of a, yeah. that tells you something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so when I asked him what are the challenges for them in 2019, he said, people, people, people. <laughs> and to be completely honest, for us it's the same. People, people, people. People are the biggest challenge since day one. I cannot believe how hard it is to find the people, to manage them, to keep them motivated, to build a team. It is way harder than doing sales, do, then doing the marketing, then doing any, at least for me. Okay. So okay. for me, that was the, probably the biggest surprise. I thought that it is going to be way easier. However, as you know, the startup, the startup world, the start, the startup company is a very different animal. Mm. It's not for everyone. That doesn't mean that it's wrong, right? It's not for everyone. Not everyone will feel okay in an environment like that because the pressure is almost 24 by 7. The work is way more than the normal corporate work. Yeah. work. Sometimes sometimes the deadlines are ex crazy. Ex crazy, <laughs> crazy. crazy. And I'm not saying that to say, hey, all of us that are doing startup organizations, startup companies, we're kind of a, we're kind of a great group of people. Yeah. No. I'm yeah. just saying that it's specific. And if you are getting into that world, you better be prepared because it's not for everyone. That's for sure. It has its pros and cons in the same way as in there are, there are pros and cons in the corporate world, let's say, but yeah. people, people, people are the challenges for the upcoming year for 2019. And I believe for many more <laughs> years to come. Uh, yeah. And what we are seeing and what we are aiming for right now is to make our company a product company uh, because up until now we are agency which is which is fine uh, every single time when you are dealing with people if you are let's put it this way if you are in the quant services business that's not the best place where you can be every single time when there there are people uh, right in the other side there are your quants it is a you better be ready for problems. The product type of company is a completely different story. Not that you don't care about the customer <laughs> anymore, but it's just different narrative. Um, that's what we are trying to do. That's what we are actually doing. We started building and creating products. In our case, our products are online courses because when we analyzed our how we spend our time, we saw that a lot of our time actually goes to delivering trainings. Yeah. And that's why we said, wait a minute, that's kind of stupid. We have to figure out how to scale our company. And one of the ways we scale our company is by pre-recording our courses, bringing them online so you can go and check them out online. And we, upon, as of now, we have two of those. We just recently announced, uh, we recently announced our latest one, the, Pro, the PowerPoint Tips and Tricks. And so now 
those those are recorded in English and they're already bringing sales to the company without us doing anything else. Yes, right. We are just income. it's more or less a, the so-called passive passive, in, income. passive income. But yeah, this is what we are going to push towards because once you create that once you create a library of courses, at least this is what we imagine to do. Then many things change because we can create subtitles. Then we are going to push those subtitles to translators. We are going to translate them across every for every single country, and then we are going to push the marketing with a localized subtitles for every single country. Um, well, I want to summarize this process actually because you you touched this point about the passive income. It's very important. Everyone is aiming and having passive income, yeah. uh, having money without doing anything, uh, which is a myth. It's yeah. not. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. it's a process, right? So you first you work with clients. Yeah. You got expertise. You build a oh, team. Wow. Yeah. You you got this history behind that, and then you summarize this uh, expertise, and yeah. you can communicate it to the world. Yeah. Uh, so you're still wor working on it. You're still oh, yeah. you're still doing the videos. You are preparing the materials. Yeah. Everything you're putting it into one place, yeah. and then you can communicate it to the world and get the hell this passive income at the end. Yeah. So um, what and I want to say is, I mean, yeah, you still it's have the it. It's It's uh, all the programs. Something that kept you on the edge, actually, that I I noticed because I was at one of your lectures. Okay. And uh, on seminars. Uh, and then it's you are always keeping up with the newest updates and you are finding the tips and tricks that you can give about these updates and they are valuable for your clients. Yep. So you're staying at the edge, you're not just because you know it's underdeveloped field, right? Yeah. You have a lot of things that are not assimilated by clients yet. Yeah. And you still jump to the next new thing that comes. Yeah. You know, you have so much behind you that you haven't done and yeah. you can benefit from, but you still jump to the newest things. Yeah. Why, why, why do you do that? Uh, we are doing that because the name of the company has uh, this laps thing right. inside. Laps means that I always said and imagined that if at some point I create a company, I just cannot, I cannot imagine, I cannot imagine lacking behind. It's right. just, I I don't understand that. I cannot, I don't breathe this way. And it's very, very hard for me to understand the people that are just lacking ears and ears behind. Yeah. Um, for us, it is very important to not just follow the newest and latest and greatest in our industry. Yeah. For us, we pride ourselves because we are labs, we are laboratory, let's okay. call it this way. We pride ourselves by sometimes defining what's what's working and what should be the trend. Okay. We created some incredible work for companies like Deutsche Telekom in 2016 right. that right. up until now cannot be matched on the market. And I'm not I don't mean here mm -hmm. in the local market, I'm saying globally. Currently, Deutsche Telekom are causing us problems because the sales director of Deutsche Telekom says, "Hey, let's build something new." Mm -hmm. What what do you want us to build? There is no one is even on your level still and you are on that level for two and a half years already. So imagine how much they won just because they went there two and a half years ago. So this is why we are and now they want to get to the new to the new thing when there is no new thing and we are just trying to push ourselves and say wait a minute can we do something else? Can we make it better? Can we push to the next level. What is the next level? Like, if you ask our industry, that's the latest and greatest. But we don't, like, we are not going to stop or at least in, if someone tries to stop or at least I find the company not pushing itself, All right. then that will be the moment when we probably have to stop doing what we are doing. Yeah, I, I want to ask you one last question about the company. Yeah. And then I would like to get a little bit in details about presenting and presentations in okay. general. Okay, so about the company, uh, what are the next steps? Why? Okay, you're, you're doing products. Yeah. Okay, but still in, uh, in more detail, 
what are you going to do? Are you going to scale the company to yeah. hire more people? Yeah. And how are you going to do that? What is lacking? And how are you going to fulfill it? Yeah, that's an important question, right? <laughs> yeah, so I want to get to this and uh, then we'll go. And So, yeah, the, the, main, the main idea right now is to scale the company. Yeah. We want to go and we are already doing what we believe is right okay. to get to the international market. The way we do it is by producing producing products that are in a language that everyone understands, meaning English for now. All right. <laughs> that is the first step. We, we are creating products that are in English and we push them to the world. If the world says that's a meaningful product, then be it. If they say that sucks, well, we have to adjust. rethink it and yeah. adjust. However, this is going to be the first step. We are trying to scale the company through those products. And with that scale, we'll, we'll have other problems. The problems that we'll, we'll, we will have for sure and that we are already having are that we don't have the people needed mm -hmm. to scale that company. And if we manage to already, if we manage to deliver that scale, we'll need other people to and uh, handle maintain, all of that, yeah. right? That, right. The problem is that you. It is very hard to find those people. Why? Why? I mean, there there are so many people out there. Uh, you have the competition of other. Basically, you have the competition of other employers. Yeah. And then, what are you looking for? What kind of people are you looking? So for? we are looking for people who are, for example, we are looking for designers. Mm -hmm. We are looking for people who are, I can say, storytellers. You can imagine this role in our world as someone who goes into a meeting with a client. They say, we need to present at this event. Let's come up with a story. All right. And someone from our team in currently in, for the last three and a half years, it was me, mm -hmm. sits down with the client, no matter who he is or she is, Sits down, sits down, brainstorms, comes up with the content, comes up with the proper words, yeah. structures the content in specific ways, and then throws that into the designer team, to the design team, and tells them what needs to be communicated so that so that the design team can visualize that in a proper way. This is the storytelling part, the storytellers. So designers, storytellers, people who produce audio, video, and and photos. This is one person that we are kind of curious to find also. Um, we are also looking for people and we'll be looking for project managers. Once we prototype for people who are bringing a company from one to five, ten people, if you don't bring a project manager inside of that company, you are going to struggle so badly that I cannot even explain or express it. Let me just give you the context. Once we brought project manager inside of our company, we became from three people to eight. Okay. So I stopped doing project management. I stopped doing just project right. management. I assigned one person to just handle projects. So imagine how much work I was doing. Mm -hmm. I assigned one person to do just projects. The company becomes from three to eight in less than three months. All right. So try or four months. So that's kind of a that's how a, that's kind of a how how crazy it happened in our case. We are looking for those kind of those people, and we are also looking for trainers, people who can train other people in our topics, in presentation related topics. We know that people like this almost do not exist, but we are willing to train them. I can give you one. <laughs> sure. I can Please. give you one later. Please. Uh, <laughs> Please. Yeah, I'll tell you his name later. Sure. Because, yeah, but I'm uh, really looking forward to Oh, that. yeah, he, he's very good. He's very good in public speaking. Brilliant. He's, it, it's kind of his speciality. And, uh, Perfect. He, he, I he's willing to undertake new. I'm, new I'm things, ready for so you, you can. Yeah, so what do you give to these people? What's the kind of company culture as employer?